Hello, it's uh, Jason here from Bohemia Bees. We are here in the apiary today in our workshop and we're continuing to work on these mini nukes and prepping them for our spring season. We're going to be doing using a lot of these uh, foam nukes for having our queens here uh, locally mated and uh, we wanna make sure that we can uh, have them set up and ready for that, that time frame. So one of the things we've talked about is you know prepping these to ensure that you can load them up with bees. Uh, we just recently did a video on how we're going to take the frames and have them drawn out in a larger, stronger colony and do a transfer of those bees, those nurse bees, on that frame into this nuke rather than doing the traditional method of flipping the nuke over and dumping bees in it and all the parts and pieces, as you can see, fall out of it. Uh, so that's just different ways of doing it. Um, one of the things that we find is a challenge as well as keeping these small nucleus colonies well fed naturally they don't have any honey stores they're just going out to gather nectar in the spring uh and during that time frame and that queen needs plenty of resources the queen cell that you place in here before she emerges as well as when she emerges and during the, the period of time when she's going out to get mated coming back and then you know laying in these small amount of frames for inspection to see how well she was mated uh based on pattern and various other things. Um, so one of the things that we challenge, we have a challenge with is keeping this thing fed. And most of the traditional mating nukes have a reservoir back here, as you can see, for you to put uh, the, your, your sugar syrup or your bee syrup that you mix up, um, typically one-to-one -one in the uh, spring for that to help them draw out the combs, feed the, you know, anything that may be in here, the bees, the brood. Uh, but one of the things that uh, we're challenged with is how do you fill this when you have to be moving this around um, and this company that I purchased these from uh, the supplier has a removable reservoir so the beauty of that removable reservoir is that you can actually expand out this small nucleus colony even further with more frames you can fit two more frames in here actually technically three more frames two beyond the uh, the, uh, the original three this allows if your nucleus is growing quicker and faster and they don't, and you're on a heavy nectar flow and you don't need to feed them, if they already got reserves in here, you can actually do that. Uh, but one of the challenges you have when you are feeding with these, uh, these smaller nucleus or mini nukes um, is having bees drown in this back half. So a, an idea that we've come up with that works, you know, gonna work pretty well for us, we hope at least, is that we're going to uh, do a, a modification to this unit. And in the past, we've we've taken a, a bit of hardware cloth like this screen, and we placed it down in the actual unit. You can do that, that's just fine. Um, and that, mean, if any bees go down and they get caught in the water, they climb back up the screen and they can get back out. There is only one, really one entrance, and, in, and that's this right here. And it does have a mini queen excluder on it. And that prevents the queen from wandering up in there and then drowning, which is with detrimental to the colony. You don't want that to happen. So that's a good preventative measure. But the other bees can still, worker bees can get in and out of here and potentially drown with any pool of their own feed. Uh, so one of the things that we're going to try out and use this year that we think is going to work real well is that we're going to utilize just a few corks. We have feeder buckets around the um, apiary, which we showed you a link to. I can show you a link to how we made those. Um, and we have a bunch of corks here um, that were donated to us to the apiary by Molly Warren. And we're going to use reutilize some of those corks down in here. And you're just going to drop them down into the reservoir. And we're going to fit them. They fit actually quite nicely, which is interesting. So they're sitting down in there. And then if you have feed that you're going to pour in, this is a simulated feed. It's just water. And you pour it down in here. You'll notice the corks will flow right to the top. And there's enough room for the bees to go in, climb and sit on the corks. As they, and as the feed goes down, the corks will go down. So it's just another way to help try to prevent the bees from drowning. It gives them something to stand on, to drink the feed that's in there as it goes down. Um, an easy way, a little hack, I guess you would say, as my kids like to call it. It's a bee hack. Um, so that's the way we're gonna do it here at the Bohemian Apiary to prevent our bees from drowning. Uh, if you have any other ideas of what's worked for you in these mini nukes, then definitely share in the comments below, provide us a link, send us a message, but subscribe to the channel and share this, uh, this little hack, this little bee hack uh, for uh, anybody out there that may be utilizing these mini nukes and don't want bees to drown in the feed 
Uh, you can do this in a larger feeder as well, inner feeders that maybe you use in your other colonies. But this is where we got the concept, and we're going to apply it here to these mini mating nukes. So there we go. That's how we're going to do the uh, the mating nukes this year. Just a little bit of an uh, uh, additional amount of information for those that are following along. Uh, continue to watch as we uh, work with these, and we'll show you more videos related to the mini mating nukes and other great videos here at the Bohemian Apiary where beekeeping is definitely more than a hobby. It's an obsession.